Well, happy Tuesday, everyone. The week itself, pretty typical for this time of year. Bit of smoke, bit of haze out on the horizon there. Windy at times, warm, sunny, dry for the most part. That is until the weekend. You may have heard the rumors. There's a pretty good chance of rainfall throughout the area as we head into Saturday and Sunday in particular as early as Friday afternoon and evening for some areas out on the coast. So let's talk it out just a little bit. Warm, sunny and dry, but of course, smoky due to fire still burning in the area till about Thursday. But Thursday, you'll notice some more cloud cover, higher winds starting to pick up a bit of a change in the air. Well, that change outside of bringing some patchy drizzle tonight into tomorrow. That's going to bring us widespread rainfall as we head into the weekend itself. Increasing winds, increasing clouds Thursday into Friday. The winds will be a concern for areas that won't quite see the rainfall till about Saturday, Sunday. That's especially east of the Cascades. So we do have the concern when it comes to fire danger for areas that are going to take a little longer further south and further east. Klamath Lake, Modoc County in particular seeing that potential, but just about everybody going to see some rainfall to a certain amount. Areas east of the Cascades, more of scattered showers areas west of the Cascades, especially out on the coast as we head into the weekend itself. Well, that's a pretty good chance of rain. Now for the coast, increasing cloud cover, some areas of Coos County, a little bit of a chance, some patchy drizzle, maybe even parts of coastal Douglas County. Cloudy then sunny tomorrow, some drizzle to start out in the morning. The same areas we mentioned, hazy, but also some gusty winds as we head in the afternoon. 72 degrees for Brookings, 60s for the rest of the coast. For the West Valley's mostly clear, some patchy smoke, sunny and hazy with breezy winds tomorrow, a little cooler than what we saw today. Got to around 90 degrees for much of the Rogue Valley, for example, going to drop by about four, five, six degrees tomorrow afternoon and east of the Cascades. Another frosty morning, likely to see another frosty night into tomorrow morning. Otherwise, mostly sunny, some frost early, as I mentioned, some areas of smoke temperatures right around normal for this time of year, right around 80 degrees for the Rogue Valley, usually around the mid 80s. We'll see that for the next few days and then you'll start to notice those changes. Winds push out some of the smoke, push out some of the haze, and we could be done with that for a while because that is rain likely for a good part of the day on Saturday as we head into Sunday, turning more towards lighter showers, and we'll just put in a slight chance of showers towards about Monday, Tuesday, but it looks like we are starting to dry out as we get closer to next week. For the Klamath Basin, fairly windy Thursday into Friday, so of course that concern is there for fires to start and spread because it's still really dry out there until we see that chance of showers Saturday, Sunday, possibly into Monday of next week. Northern California, also mainly in the 80s over the next seven days, and then we'll cool things down Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I guess I should say in the next few days, because as we had in the weekend, a big cool down there with showers likely and some fairly high winds in for the coast. This is your best chance of rain. That's late Friday into Saturday, Sunday chance of showers on Monday. And then you'll start to dry things out towards Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week.